Welcome back to day two of the blog slash our markdown, our studio, Hugo, blog down, whatever you want to call it. I want to do a couple things with you today, knowing that everything is not perfect, um, because that's what we're going to run into is just not perfect situations. From last time, we created a uh, site, sort of, and it showed up in our viewer down here. You can see down here, I, I don't have anything right now, but we didn't really expand on too much further than that. So let's let's go ahead and create a brand new site. In fact, uh, so this is basically live. I've ran into some problems earlier, so I could probably walk through most of this, but let's do a new project um, to start on the same page. So let's just do that. So create a new directory. We can try using the blog down website here. Um, you know, I just don't want you to get used to always having these you know, easy answers, right? So, but let's just do it anyway. So I'm gonna add a directory called, I don't know, test seven. I don't know how many tests I have out there. So test seven, and that's, I've got it under another directory site test. L pay attention to the check marks here. Install Hugo, Hugo automatically, add sample blog posts. I want all this because I'm new, right? Um, keep empty directories. I, I'm gonna let the default happen for now, but now it says convert all metadata to YAML. I'm gonna I'm gonna not check that off because all right I like YAML yet another Markdown language, but a lot of the tutorials out there are in TOML whatever that stands for right so T O M L I want to keep it TOML let's see if it works we'll just go from there now add the example site of the theme and I have this theme here right it's the Hugo Lithium but it's under Y I H U I Hugo Lithium let me give you a hint these themes are pretty cool that you can do this. Um, this is the author of the theme, and then this is the name of the theme. If we go to a website, and I haven't, uh, don't, I haven't tested this yet, so we're gonna test it right now together. I'm gonna bring this over here, and okay. So this is the themes.gohugo.io. Uh, I'm gonna literally just pick a random theme, uh, something simple, I hope. Uh, how about this? Let's go to clean and let's just click, oh man, I don't know. I'm Jane Doe right here, that's clean. What I'm trying to figure out is how do you install this? I think you would do, see if I go to homepage. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Phew, the homepage should be a GitHub page and you can see I've got the author and the name of it right here. So let's copy and paste that. I can't even see my keyboard. <laughs> let's copy and paste that in here, right? And get rid of that backslash and it should work. Remember, I unchecked uh, convert to YAML. Let's see if it works. Sorry, I went kind of a long winded way to get there, but I wanted to show you that you can put different themes in. Now, okay, we've got this thing built here. Now you, if you don't, I don't know if I already talked about this, but if you don't have this build option or this build option over here, you should because you just created this website with um, uh, the blog down website uh, creator, right? If you don't, all you have to do is restart your computer and it should, or not your computer, restart our studio and it should uh, come up. And if it doesn't, then you might want to step back and see if you did something wrong. So that should be there with the restart of your RStudio. And then once you have the build, you can build it and do all these things. What I want to show you though is a couple things. All right, so we, we have this. We have no idea what it is. We're just going to serve this site. We're going to say blog down, colon, colon, site serve. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serve site. Serve site. I think I'm a little backwards today. Cool. It shows up down here just like um, it should. Click on posts and everything works. Okay, here's some posts, rich content. Okay, so the posts work, I like it. Now, there's going to be issues. Actually, before the issues, <laughs> let's read this notice here. To stop the server, run server daemon stop one or restart your R session. Right, so we can do restart our session, it's fine. Now we can find this here, this little IP address, useful. So control C on that bad boy there. And let's go to an actual 
blank tab and paste that in there and everything seems to be working just fine if i click on anything it should work cool we can hit go back i think using that and we're back to square one that's what i wanted to show you sort of now let's i'm going to put this over here to the right and i'm going to put this window to the left what i want to show you is how to change some of this on the fly so if i want to change markdown syntax guide which I can find in my files here, you should be able to go to, remember, stay away from public, don't mess with that yet, go to content, and then it should be under your post, and under the post, Markdown Syntax Guide, that's just a title, don't forget, so I'm guessing it's Markdown-SyntaxMD. Now you could probably see it on the very bottom of my screen, it's very small, it says Markdown Syntax. Uh, so that's the one we want, Markdown Syntax. So now you see that here, right? It's got the author, it's got all kinds of HTML stuff going on, all kinds of stuff. What I want to do is I want to change the name of it. Instead of Markdown Syntax Guide, I'm going to call it, I'll just call it Mark Gingrass. That's my name. So, <laughs> and then Control S, and you'll see that it didn't change over here. You might have to hit refresh, right? You click refresh and it changed, that's fine. Normally, you're not going to have to hit refresh for most of your changes. That's what I wanted to show you. So let's try it now. I'm just going to use my last name. I'm going to do Control S, and you see how it automatically updated? So you need to kind of kick it in gear by doing the refresh once, and then it seems to work. So that's really what I wanted to show you was some of these things that you can do on the fly, and you got to figure out how to install different various themes. Be careful with the themes. Not every theme is going to be treated equally. and in another tutorial after this, we'll discuss some more problems that I have. Please, if you enjoy this tutorial, uh, try to share it and like it. Send me some comments, especially I have a feeling that we're going to run into some weird issues. And I want to know what they are, see if I can help you within the uh, comment system on YouTube or whatever this is posted on. Okay, well, I hope that helps a little bit with some of your issues and give you some options on themes. So have fun playing around.